So the first way to build momentum oil painting is to just start painting. That's the first step. So many people are afraid to start or just don't paint as often as they want to. And I'm just a firm believer in jumping on in. That is why I'm gonna be hosting what I call Paint Week. It's gonna be March 13th to the 18th. It's completely free. It's made for beginner and intermediate painters to help them build momentum with their painting. There's a link to sign up in the description of this video. And if you wanna know more about Paint Week, then stick around for this video because all the 10 ways to build momentum with your painting are going to relate to Paint Week. All right, number two is have a process. I've talked about this a lot. You know, there's a lot of different ways to oil paint out there and they're all good. But if you're just starting out, I highly suggest choosing one to focus on for a while. I liken it to learning how to tie your shoes. If when you're learning to tie your shoes, every single day someone different was teaching you a different way how to tie your shoes, it'd take you a lot longer to learn. All right, let me ask you something. Do you think you could paint this? All right, how about this? Pretty easy, right? All right, got one more for you. All right, how about, how about this one? Doable, right? What if I told you if you can paint these shapes, then you could paint this landscape here. You can. This is the big shape method. That's the method I'm gonna be using and teaching during paint week. It's the method I found is easiest for beginners to get a hold of and to simplify the painting process and make it a whole lot less frustrating. And it's a way of painting where you simplify the subject no matter what it is into big shapes of flat color. And then you build smaller, more specific shapes on top of that. And that sets you up to be able to put on detail and have the painting work. All right, number three is Hold yourself accountable to actually paint. If you have trouble making yourself paint on a regular basis, then find a way to put yourself in situations where you have to paint. This could be as simple as posting on social media that you're going to put out a new painting every week or telling a friend that you'll paint something for them at a certain time or taking on a commission or you can sign up for paint week because it's only gonna be one week and I don't know when I'm gonna do this again. So on Monday, the first day of paint week, I'm going to release painting videos for you to do. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to release the next set of painting videos. And then on Saturday, something special is going to happen on Saturday that I'll get to later in this video. But the fact that paint week is the set week, and once it's done, it's done, you will feel obligated to paint that week. All right, number four is set yourself up for an easy win. Even if you've been painting for a while, painting can get really frustrating. And sometimes you need just an easy win, like you need a good painting to boost your confidence and get the momentum going and get you painting more and get you excited about painting. I have this happen all the time with students. If they're trying to get a certain aspect of painting and they're just struggling for a long time, I'll say, you know, take a break, you know, paint this something that you know you'll knock out of the park. It will be a good painting and give you a good morale boost. I mean, I do this all the time. And for Paint Week, I've done that for you. I've specifically chosen references that I know have good compositions and interesting subject matter and will make a fun painting to paint. The beginner painting is a still life of an apple and some cherries and just their difference in size and their color complement scheme of the red and the green, I know is gonna make a fun little still life that's gonna pop. And for the second day of painting, the intermediate painting are these beautiful big sets of trees right on the beach and one of my favorite spots to paint here in Sarasota, Florida at Lido Beach Park. So you don't have to worry about finding something to paint. All right, number five is streamline your materials. I feel like one of the first things that gets in beginner's way is that they get too hung up on getting the right materials and thinking that they need a whole bunch of materials. You know, which medium should I use? How many colors do I need? How many brushes do I need? Well, for Paint Week, I simplified the materials and I've actually already posted them in Teachable. So when you sign up and go into Teachable right now, the first lecture is already published in which I have a video where I talk about the materials that I'm gonna be using during Paint Week and I have links to where you can find any of them. Now, you don't have to have my exact materials, but knowing what I'm using could help you along the way. I will also be teaching you how to use these materials. I have a video on color mixing using the primaries and what I call shortcut colors. I also have a video on medium and paint thickness and how you can get the oil paint to do what you want it to do. All right, number six is paint simple subjects. A common misconception I've seen with beginner painters is they think, oh, the more complex the subject, the better the painting will be. That's not the case. In fact, I kind of think it's the opposite. I think there's a lot to be said with how well you can paint 
a very simple subject. And a lot of times, complicated subjects can take you a lot longer to paint. And it's just gonna take you a lot longer to realize the problems that you're having with your painting. You're just gonna learn so much more trying to paint simple subjects really, really well. That's why I specifically chose the subjects I did for Paint Week, to show students how powerful simple subjects can be if you actually paint them well. All right, number seven is try following a tutorial. I know following tutorials helped me so much when I started painting because a lot of times I would look at more advanced painters and I'd see their paintings and it, they were like a magic trick to me. I was like, how do you even get something like that? Like, I don't even know where to start. But when I'd watch their tutorials and see their process and see how they built a painting, it really demystified the process for me. And it made me feel like good paintings were within my grasp. And for Paint Week, I wanted to give you two full painting tutorials. And these are videos where you see every single brush stroke that I make. And I'm talking throughout the painting, explaining exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I really believe by watching others paint, you can take things away and develop your own process that you can use later on in your own work. All right, number eight is really try to share your work with a painting community. Sharing your work and looking at others' work is probably one of the best ways to boost your confidence and motivate yourself to paint more. There's nothing that gets me more excited and motivated to just go and paint than seeing work from painters that I like. That's why during the week of Paint Week, I'm gonna have a pop-up Facebook group. And in there, students participating in Paint Week can post the paintings that they've done from Paint Week. You can ask questions, get answers, bounce ideas off each other, and just be involved in a fun painting community. I'll be in there trying to answer as many questions as I can. That leads me to number nine, which is ask questions. Whenever I meet a painter who's more experienced than me, I always have a million questions for them and I'm trying to ask them everything I can so I can learn from their experience. That's why on Saturday, the last day of paint week, I'm gonna be putting out a video where I critique a handful of student paintings and answer as many of your questions as I can. So if you have questions you wanna ask me about oil painting, you can post them in the Facebook group and I will do my best to answer them in that final video. Doesn't that sound fun? Because that's number 10, have Fun. I know painting can get very, very frustrating, but I always say you have to honor the effort, no matter how your painting turns out. The fact that you actually took the time and painted is always a win because you got better. And for Paint Week, I just wanted to make it as fun and easy as possible for you to start painting, or if you have been painting, to make progress and to build momentum that you can take out of Paint Week and into your own work. All right, if you wanna sign up for Paint Week, Again, it's completely free. Uh, link to sign up is in the description of this video. If you have any questions about Paint Week, leave them in the comment section of this video and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, if you wanna see what I'm painting on a daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram at Forza43. I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting.